Rock and Rocker electric dethatcher. Better than any Sunjo product. A lot of dead stuff in there. This lawn is looking absolute beautiful. Until we turn this way. What are we going to do about it? Well, about to find out. I'm going to have to use a scarifier, a verticutter. I scalped it. Not scalped it down, but I got it down low as I want to be. Double doubles. Seven eighths of an inch. I'll use the uh, scarifier, the verticutter. I'm going to level it with Scott's lawn soil to help the growth and then i'm going to overseed it with perennial rye which really wouldn't at this time of year wouldn't be that much of a problem but we've got five days coming up in the mid 80s rock and rocker electric dethatcher and scarifier not the most thrilled about it yes it is electric but it ain't cordless ryobi has one but it's back ordered for like four months and i need one now I really can't stand Sun Joe products because they're just so cheaply made. I saw this one on the old YouTubes. It's wider than all the other ones. There's The other ones are 13, 14, 15 inch. This is a 16 inch. You get a dethatcher and scarifier. We'll give it a shot. I don't usually subscribe to YouTube channels, but when I do, I subscribe to Electric Lots. I believe this is the scarifier with the tines. This is the dethatcher. Some people call this a, a burda cutter. A lot of people think that this is the detacher. This is more of like a power rake. And this is actually what gets down and cuts a slit down in the grass and gets low enough to get that thatch up and get it out. Looks decent made. Better than any Sunjo product I've ever seen or had the this pleasure of using if you can't tell I'm not a fan of Sun Joe products at all I despise the core thing let me say despise it but I still gotta use it. The means to an end. To start, you push this button in, pull the handle. A lot of dead stuff in there. A lot of good stuff in there, but you see the lines in there. I'm giving it air. We loosen this up. And then you hopefully get some growth going on with the overseeding. Now this is the scare fire. See how it works. So far, I'll call it a win. I like it. It does It seem to have pretty good power. That's good. Picks up a lot of material. Doing your whole yard. Pain in the butt with the cord. I got a heavy duty cord here. The only battery powered one that I know is Ryobi's. Everyone else that I've seen is 
recorded. Works has one, Sun Joe has one, Black & Decker has one. A bunch of different companies have one. This is a different company. What I've seen, as far as the corded ones, this is the widest one, so that's a plus. I'm not paid by these guys or anyone. I just saw it on someone else's channel. Needed to use one. Did not want to get a Sun Joe. I know a lot of people have done reviews on Sun Joes. I'm not a fan of Sun Joe, their products. So I wasn't going to buy that. I went with this, Rock and Rocker. I'll call it a win so far. Finishing up the dethatching here. Used a little garden easel to loosen up the soil. So I had some areas that were kind of hard and I brought out the soil sifter. I wanted to get the best ingredients from that Scott's lawn soil. Sometimes, you know, they put some organic matter, we will say, in that. And I wanted to sift that out. And apply that Scott's lawn soil right there. After I get that all laid out, then I'll level it with my lawn leveling tool. I'm gonna apply some Scott's perennial ryegrass. After that, I go late into the night here, I apply some peat moss to put over it. And you see, it was quite late. Hey, I apologize for that other guy in the first part of the video. Kind of boring, dull. Y'all got your crazy cracker back. Here we go. Tube of Eunice. Here it is, two month update. You can overseed in the spring. I got some dog spots here. Those are current. We have transitioned our two dogs to going around the side of the house, so we don't do that anymore. As you can see right here, this is filled in nicely. Took some hard work, took lots of watering, took lots of care, but you can do it. Those that say you can't, cool season. Warm season, obviously you can. Cool season grass. When I did this, y'all heard in the video that we were coming up on a bunch of days of 80 degrees and we've been there since. Still, perennial rye was able to grow in here. We aren't 100% filled in, but I'd say we're somewhere between 90, 95. I'll bring you guys a little closer. You can see these spots, areas that are a little bit darker, that is perennial rye grass. Perennial ryegrass tends to stay a little bit darker in the summertime for cool season. From the different angle right here, we filled in pretty good. It's not perfect. Like I said, we're probably 90, maybe 95%. We just got some small holes uh, from dog spots that are slowly filling in. But if we walk around, it's doing pretty good. It's a lot better than it was, way better than it was. It's not embarrassing. Uh, and especially from the sidewalk, you can hardly even see it because the way my yard goes, it slopes downhill. Nice little stripes. But this thing has grown quite a bit overnight. I cut this down to inch and a quarter last night. And I can see already now it has grown. Call this a win. Challenge the status quo. If somebody tells you you can't do something, you say good. Those of you, thank you for the support that seen the Live Edge video. If you haven't, I'll link to it somewhere for you right here. I think as of this video right now, 342,000 people have viewed it. Thank you very much. It's really helped our channel kind of explode with growth. Didn't uh, see that coming with that video, but you just never know what video is going to do what. You just have to put them out there, put your best work out there. And you guys, the viewers, determine what's going to do what. So I thank you very much for that happening. At the request of some of you guys, especially Mark in Arizona, we do have social media coming up. The Twitter, the Facebook, Boha, the Insta, or the Gram, whatever you guys call it. We got all that coming. Got my social media team working on it. It's my life. Once that's all squared away, I believe the Facebook, Boha, and the uh, Insta or Gram, whatever you guys call that. Let's call it, I want to call it the, the G Ram. That's what I'm going to call it. So we got the Facebook Yibuha and the G Ram, I believe, are already up and going. The Twitter, the Twitter will be going soon, very soon. That'll be up and going. 
So look for Electric Lawns on social media that you guys can follow along with us in between videos, see different things you're doing. Comment below what you guys would like to see, what you like about the channel, what you'd want to see change, what you want to see from the channel. I've done a lot of research and studying of other channels, bigger channels than mine, that have put out posts and asked their subscribers and from their subscriber feedback, heck, if you're a smaller channel and you're not reading that and learning from it, you're doing something wrong. So I've done that of what they liked, what about that channel. And from what I'm seeing is like everyone is somewhat getting a little tired of the overgrown lawns and they want to see a, an all around lawn care company. So that's what you're going to see from us. You're going to see some landscaping projects. You're going to see just some regular mowing. You're going to see some overgrown lawns. We got some different series of, of things coming up that I think are going to be pretty, pretty interesting from us. Electric lawns, we're always going to have some comedy in there because that's me. Uh, if you guys have never watched my very first couple videos, you don't have to. They're not that good. Uh, I said in there that I have ADHD, and I do. I'm clinically diagnosed, ADHD. I take medicine and everything like that. When you guys get something that seems kind of random in the video, it's because I have ADHD, and stuff's random. It just happens like this. That's me, the crazy cracker, okay? That's my personality coming out. Usually it's a little more crazy when I haven't taken my medicine. So if there's something in there, it just seems a little bit weird or a little bit, oh my goodness, this dude. It's because I hadn't taken my medicine that day before the video. Thank you for the support. We're going to keep growing. We're over that 1,000 subscriber mark. And we're just going to keep going from here. Going to keep putting out good content. I'm going to keep learning what you guys want. Because it's not about the content that I want to put out. It's about the content you guys want to see and want to view. That's things that I'm learning about YouTube. In my very first video, I said I didn't know much about this, and I didn't. But I have put the hours in, and I continue to put the hours in of what you guys want to see so that I can keep bringing that content to you guys. So one, hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you get a little entertainment out of it. Hopefully you get a little laugh out of it. Maybe you say I'm an idiot, or maybe you say, hey, that's a pretty good idea. One or the other is going to happen. If you've made it this far in the video, thank you. How I know that you've made it this far in the video, I pose a question to you. I was at church yesterday, Wednesday night service, and pastor asked a question of how do you endure as a Christian? So I ask you guys out there, as a Christian, how do you endure? It's different to everyone. So leave your comments down below, and I'll let you know mine. You show me yours, I'll show you mine. Say hello to my little friend. Little friend. From the whole Electric Lawns family, I'm Mike. Oh. Who am I looking at? You? Have a look. No. Nope. Not Sorry. Take two. I didn't usually subscribe to. No, I wasn't gonna look at the camera. You gotta be louder. Yeah, yeah speak up. Okay. Take Zeke, don't. Take three. I didn't usually subscribe to YouTube channels. Was that not loud enough? A little bit louder. <laughs>